Well, Dr. Hardick is with us from, uh, he, he'll talk about food and uh, he's also a doctor of chiropractic and I'm a huge believer in the chiropractic thing, way, the practice of chiropractic. <laughs> I always forget the right way to say it, but I, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in it and uh, I think it's really great. I think it's changed a lot and I'm just saying that as a patient. Yeah. Um, I, be, before I moved here, I, I went into, uh, there was an office and it was just a little bit too well. You got to come here. And you got to do this, and you got to do. This. And it was just like it, it, it was too much of a. Um, uh, I felt like I was on a, a conveyor belt of people, mm. and so mm. it wasn't that one on one. Mm. But then I did find uh, a, a gentleman, and it was he, he and his wife in Hamilton, and uh, that's when I kind of I really bought into the whole because it was more than just you know the adjustment. It was about the stretch and about this and your digestive well, system and everything. And like I that. think you know when we talk about Dr. B. J. Hardick, <laughs> and you know all those things are very. Important important to him and I mean it's all in this book as yeah. well uh, he takes things kind of to a next level um, incorporating nutrition plans mm -hmm. and maximize living this is on my counter in my kitchen mm -hmm. um, and you know the great thing about this book is I, what I love about Dr. B.J. Hardick mm -hmm. is he practices what he preaches yes. as well. And yeah. that's so, so important because, you know, it's one thing to go and talk to somebody and get advice from them and, you know, but and then you look at them and, you know, they're 300 pounds. <coughs> yeah, they're and not like, fitting the, um, yeah. Okay, but mm -hmm. you're telling me that this is the right thing I should be doing. You know what? No. B.J. Hardick, mm -hmm. the good doctor, is a healthy man and he lives by what he uh, talks about in his book. Do some healthy cooking with the good doctor, Dr. B.J. Hardick. Real nutrition for a healthy body and mind is basically the focus of his book here. Maximize living. We have it on our counter. Thank you so That's much good. for that. That's good to know. Uh, we're going to do something I think is, would be kind of nice to serve for Canada Day. Yeah, well, I mean, berries are in season. Yeah. You know, so it's a perfect time to actually go pick your own, you know, so they're not sprayed with a bunch of pesticides, and they're actually, and they're very, very good for you, too. They're not super high in sugar, you know, so you, they're a great dessert. You don't, you do, what we're going to make as far as strawberry shortcake, you don't need to use processed sugar, really processed anything for this. So it's pretty easy. Good. We, got, we actually got, we got some strawberry sauce going on here. We got some butter. I'll show you what we're doing here. Okay. This is, instead of flour, what we actually use is we use almond meal. So again, this is just ground up almonds. Why no flour? You know, f white flour in particular is very inflammatory and also it turns into sugar in about four seconds. You know, so you woof down this white, uh, sorry, white flour and it doesn't say sugar on the label, but it might as well because it turns into sugar so quickly. White flour is worse than white sugar. Get yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, no, it has a worse glycemic load on your body than just white sugar glucose, you know, sucrose, I should say. So, yeah, so the thing is, so, so again, this, it's a nut, it's a fat, and again, you know, people can use other things too. You so know, what is this again? So this is a almond flour, it's just ground almonds. You know, you can grind them yourself, or you can just get it at, you know, like a bulk food store, it's pretty easy to do. You wanna crack some eggs here, Sabrina? These okay, are These I'll are try. organic eggs. Are we doing egg whites or whole egg? The whole egg, you know, so get, okay. get the good stuff in the there. good stuff. So I'll, I'll, okay, so I'll show you the trick. You wanna crack it like this, where you crack it down. Right, and then that way, well, I kind of messed a little bit there, but then the, then, the, then you don't lose the shells. Oh, right. okay. So here, here's another one. All right. Oh, you, you want go. me to do what you just did? Yeah, no, so you, maybe not, <laughs> as, not as hard, but, but you just, you want to crack it this way, get a little inside crack there. Oh, I right, did it. Right, a little easier. Right, so it's literally, you got almond flour, you got eggs. Is that good? That's good. Your finger's okay? That's all right. This I'm is some aluminum-free baking soda, right? So this is key. We use sea salt. Right, so literally that's like a quarter teaspoon of sea salt, not okay. much at all. Back up there to the um, aluminum free. Yeah. What, why? Well, most of these things, they have these horrible additives, you know, so you got to look, you got, you got to, it's almost got to say aluminum free, otherwise you can assume that it's processed with aluminum. Really? Yeah, no, so just a lot of these things, the more and more you look at foods, you realize that the processing behind these things is really, really scary. You know, the plants, I mean, look, we find out that there's um, lead in lipstick. Well, it never said that there was lead on the lipstick bottle, but now you just know to watch out for the ones that say they're lead free. Same thing with something like baking soda. Unbelievable. Makes okay. sense. Okay. For the uh, sugar or the sweet part, we use stevia, right? Which is a sweet herb. So we're going to probably put in about a third or half a cup here. Okay. This is all through the website, and um, this is it. This is our. This is our. This is our. Um, this is. This is going to make our muffin mix wow. here. So I just want to go back to stevia here. Yeah. Tell me about stevia. This is a natural. This is all. Yeah. So ste So stevia really comes from South and Central America. Okay. It's a sweet herb. It, so, for, since it's an herb, it comes from the plant kingdom, so it doesn't have any impact on your blood sugar. You want again, you want to look for the ones that are more naturally processed. Okay. You know, again, it's typically you know that's one of those um, 
health food store items that we get. I was just going to say, can we get this at the grocery store? Maybe not so much. More, more and more places you can get at the grocery store. Yeah. More and more places okay. you can get at the grocery store, you know, but for me, it's always been a health a health food store. Thing, That's a so. nice option. I'm always looking for a different alternative to sugar, especially for yeah. my daughter, <laughs> giving a three-year-old sugar. S st stevia is great. And again, even some of the higher sugar fruits like dates, some people use honey, those types of things. But, um, you know, again, just remember any, any the, the worst carb you can ever eat is the one you'll never use. You know, so having even those higher sugar fruits at night, not a good thing because you're not going to use it, you know, until the next morning, you know, until the next day. So that's how it builds up fat in your body. Okay. You know, so obviously if a kid's real active, throwing in dates, honey, something like that, even this more of a natural sugar, middle of the day, no problem. Okay. Does that make sense? Makes sense. So we're just going to turn this up a little bit here. Yeah. Add a little bit of water to this. Very good. Yeah, so not too much water here. But this is basically going to make our muffin. Oh, that didn't go in, Sabrina. This is going to make our, our muffin batter here. And uh, I'll show you how we do this because it's real easy. So, I mean, th this took no time at all, right? No. Very few ingredients, right? There's nothing bad in here, nothing inflammatory. And again, they're still, they're still going to basically make muffins, right? So, right. so let's start whipping up some of this whipped cream okay. over here, right? Sounds so good. the key with whipped cream, right? I mean, literally we get just, you know, with dairy products or animal products, that's when you want to go organic, right? So we try with fruits and nuts and all these things, but really, especially with animal products. Why? You want because animals eat plants, right, which are toxic to begin with, and they eat a lot of these plants and they eat a lot of the grains. You know, so any that, any, anything, you know, the higher up the food chain you go, the more organic you want to go. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because there's this tight toxic bioaccumulation. Okay. So if you're at the grocery store and you have the choice between organic meat versus organic celery, invest your money in the organic, organic meat. meat. Does that make sense? That does make total right, you know, sense. So this is cream. Okay. And again, a lot of people think that, you know, you know, animal products are unhealthy. Not necessarily, but you do, you have to go from the most natural sources. Okay. You know, so literally to make this, we're just going to you know, have a little bit of a cream there, okay. right? A little bit of natural vanilla, natural vanilla. And a little bit of stevia will sweeten this up too, but we don't need much. Maybe just a little, just a hair there. Mm. So grab that, grab that, that beater, good. grab All that right. beater there. Let me give it a go here. Yeah, yeah. So what, what, uh... um, I would start on low just okay. to be safe. <laughs> just so, to be safe. So, so we... you don't end up wearing it. Yeah. yeah. So when you beat this stuff, it doesn't take long. Ah. You know what I forgot to put in here? I forgot to put in the butter, right? This kind of just gels it up real nice. Hey, there we so go. So we actually melted really not much and just half a stick of butter, right? Okay. Okie dokie. So people ask, people ask how we always stay in such good shape, and I always say it's because we eat butter and cream all day. But um, you know, again, just remember, as a, as opposed to the you know the phony vegetable oils and the margarines and all those things, these are just a lot closer to the source. We're making so we're some healthy almond flour uh, muffins, basically strawberry just, shortcake. Well, just call it strawberry shortcake just for the call kids. It strawberry shortcake. So as a rule, when you're trying to feed people healthy. Don't tell them what's in it until they're done. Because people will back off from almond flour and steve and that type of thing. Just say strawberry shortcake. And then when they're done, explain there was no sugar in it, no flour, and people will be amazed. I learned that trick from you, my friend. I made my daughter smoothies, and I snuck some spinach in there, and she had no clue. Yeah, and no. And I got that from you. Well, yeah, Thank so you. after the fact, it's good. Now, you get the occasional person who really, really wants to know what's in it before they eat it, and that's, that's fine. What we're doing here is we're just taking this batter, and we're putting these in our classic muffin tin the same way we would any other. I don't know if we're getting this on the mm -hmm. camera or not, but again, it's it's pretty much the same. And they'll right? rise just the same, right? Yep, we, we added the baking soda, you know, so again, real easy. And when they come out, they literally look like something like this, you know? So nice. So again, we're talking, you know, these are in the oven for like at 350 for, you know, however long, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Not long. Just I mean, sometimes you have to well, watch it. Right. Right, but again, they're nice and fluffy. Do the toothpick uh, test, right? Yeah. So watch this. So okay. let's take some of this. We took the actual... Um, real whipped cream, right? Organic. So, yes. Whipped so cream. we're gonna make one for you and one for me. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. we got the actual whipped cream, and again, this takes longer, right? And if you keep going, it turns into butter, right? So don't go too long when you're making the whipped cream. Okay. I've made that mistake. So we're just gonna get a little bit of this whipped cream in here. One trick is you can kind of keep it in the fridge just so it doesn't get too runny. Runny, yeah. Obviously, the more natural things they they do get runny, you know, yeah. because they don't they don't have preservatives in them. And what we've been doing over here, we started the show out with some. I'd love to say uh, I went out and picked these strawberries, but I picked them at the grocery store. Okay. But again, they're still local. Great yeah. time of the year to get them. And we just put them in the pot here with a little bit of water, and we've made this awesome strawberry sauce. No sugar, no nothing in there. No, I mean, there's there's the fruit sugar, yeah. right? Right. But again, this, this is it. Okay. You know, so we're literally just going to get and some of this. It smells good, and that's on it. Top. Oh, it smells berries. amazing. Yours is going to be better than mine. 
<laughs> right? Because you got Somebody the, you got the first round of the better. thick, you know, so oh, this is look good. At that. So this is pretty much your strawberry shortcake here. And I want you to taste it because people are typically amazed. So here we go. And okay. we added some mint on there too, because you All know, right. mint just makes things, especially for a dessert like this. Absolutely. Okay. Don't you find when it's hot, you don't want, you don't want to have like this really thick chocolatey decadent. I always want that at night. Mm. You know what I mean? Or I want that when it's winter. Mm. What do you think? Oh my goodness, the cupcake is so good. And the blend of the hot and the cold. Yeah. You know, it's good. That's really tasty. 